Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks bringing you the Daily Apple Report for Thursday, December 22nd, 2022. Before I jump into the charts like this one, I'd like to encourage you to please click like if you're watching right now. Each and every time you watch the Daily Apple or Tesla Report, it helps us out a great deal in being found on YouTube and others search for Apple or Tesla analysis. And also subscribe to the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel. It'll provide you notification each and every time new content has been uploaded, and that includes at least least the Daily Apple and Tesla Report. And if you would, share the content with friends and colleagues. Appreciate it a great deal. So here we have 137.10, this former channel bottom. Uh, we came close to testing, actually, on Wednesday. It can contain buying uh, through the rest of the week, and we can fall off from here, uh, still allowing 126.35 from here, I'd say by the end of next week, 126.35 is really the start of a range of support down to 123.30. That is expected by the end of January. Now it's expected over the next two to three weeks below 137.10. The 126.35 level, if tested over the next three to five days, let's say, is the start of a zone down to 123.30 that can absorb selling pressures, uh, not only through January, but even through Q1 and into later uh, 23. You can see it better represented here on the weekly chart. This descending channel bottom at 123.31 and this rising two-thirds speed line at 119.81 is preceded by 126.35 that I just showed. And so coming back to this, 137.10 is our resistance through the rest of the week. If we can close above it, uh, then we are expecting the mid-140s again within three to five days. But until then, we can quite easily grow heavy here and fall off. Now, yes, I have 134.37. It's just a minor point. Well suited for aggressive day traders, but it's 133 and a quarter that I'm showing as our downward pivot point for the day. That is nothing more than the high of two, uh, the high of Tuesday's low. How do I say that? It is Tuesday's high. It is the high of the low for the week. And it is a sort of a pivot point in its own right on an intraday basis. If we happen to break 133.25, we could test within the day 129.04, which I have bumped up to a session containment level, able to contain daily selling pressures. 129.04 is this low from June. So if we break Tuesday's 133.25 high, we could pivot south to 129.04 within the day. We've got 132.30, which is the low settlement price this week, 130.06, which is the low settlement price in June. All these levels have been carefully chosen. They're all very legitimate levels. The reason I keep, uh, uh, you know, uh, mentioning that is because I just don't want you to think I'm coming up with some number to throw at you just to fill up space. Never do that. I always There are always real levels that you can trade, but of the more significant, the more trend-defining, I uh, they are emboldened. 137.10, a two-star resistance, able to contain buying through the rest of the week and below which we remain on our heels through next week. And we could test this targeted 123.30 long-term support. Just so you know, a WickedStocks.com membership delivers regular daily video analysis in the SPY and Triple Q, weekly video analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, and a U.S. Treasury ETF, and two individual stock pick videos every week. Check out our other content by clicking the link below by the end of next week. Now, inversely, if we push or open today above 137.10, 140.35 is likely. 140.35, I should probably pull up a different chart so I can more better represent that. That is the late November low right here. Now, this uh, early December low took that out by just a bit, but I think that this is a level 140.35 that you can expect today if we happen to push or open above 137.10, 140.35 then expected on an intraday basis basis. And if we close today back above this 137.10 channel bottom, we have got a good low for the week. And we should then over the next two to three, three to five days, continue up to 144.58, which is this long-term speed line um, that um, 
can absorb buying through January. If you've been watching the Daily Apple report, you know that this a variation of the speed line has performed quite well in containing buying pressures from late October onward. And uh, we've never closed above it. If we were to close above 144.58, then we're expecting 153.88 within one to two weeks. But holding below 144.58, as I've been saying and is still true, will keep that uh, one here it is, 123.30 level in reach by the end of January. I've been saying this now for weeks. Holding below 144.58, 123.30 in reach by the end of January. And, that, and right now, it may actually be uh, over the next two to three weeks below 137.10. You know, I think that that pretty much summarizes it for the Apple report. I could talk about, I suppose, that if we were to close above 153.88, longer term bullish continuation into later Q1, but we're nowhere near to even coming back to 144.58 just yet. We've got to close today above 137.10. And then, yeah, over the next three to five days, 144.58 expected where this market encounters a pretty significant test of longer-term resistance. And that is all I have for Thursday's Daily Apple Report. I'll be back tomorrow again with Fridays, and you have a great evening.